Like many of her schoolmates, Manisha is a latchkey child. Her mother, a single parent, works day and night to support two children. Come on. Uh -huh. What you doing? Oh. You clean this time. So what's well, your... I'm just saying, man, that's why I ain't gonna lie. There ain't no reason why. Well, well, I, I didn't see y'all coming down the street and now. When I saw you, yeah. it was when y'all was turning the corner. I was already walking right. up the street. We're gonna play Gulliver. We're that Gulliver. We believe you. Manisha is one of many children whose mind has been expanded by the Philosophy for Children program. I really enjoy philosophy. I feel like it's nice because it's helping us think about things that we never thought about before. Like my philosophy teachers say, we want whole group and we can ask any kind of questions. The Philosophy for Children program is generated from this small house on the campus of Montclair College, New Jersey. I think that's the key. James? Matthew Lipman holds seminars here every week. It's been a long struggle, but he's finally seen education authorities at state and federal level recognize the program's worth. What you can do. But the, the important discovery that I'm talking about is... It's now taught in 5,000 American schools, not as an extra, but as an integral part of the curriculum. And I think when we start talking to kids about uh, respect for persons and what, it, and what it means to be a person, um, that that can be the basis for the kind of absolutist, uh, absolute self-esteem that I'm talking about, which is something that's not conditional, it's not dependent upon achievement. Yeah. I think the child who for the first time speaks up in class in a community of inquiry <clears throat> goes home and thinks on the way besides all that adulation from the other children gee what I said you know what I said that's so important I never was able to say it and I never thought of it and here it is you know it seems so creative it seems so original it seems so uh, so much of a, a watershed in that child's life. At Bergen Street School, philosophy is being taught in a black culture that swings from law and order virtue one minute to cynical street wisdom the next. When I go to church on Sunday and I get drunk all day Monday, I will ain't nobody's business what I do. These eighth graders have recently been introduced to philosophy. Does anyone think it's different? Not only she's saying the same thing, but she feels the same. Brooke Bertillet is struggling to hold the attention of a confused class. Only the odd student is responding. Individual is born because it's better to work as a group. You get a better understanding than you would do with one person. Because I might not understand Mr. Mr. Bertolet's statement, and I might understand a student's statement better than I do his. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's probably true. Uh. I agree with Kareem somewhat, because this is, I feel this is how change comes about. When an individual has an opinion, it's a little different from a group, because what do groups do? 
group somehow persuade, is that right? Yes. And the class teacher, Mrs. Copeland, known as the Sergeant Major, has done a course in philosophy and been won over. Brooks finding her a powerful ally. Well, if I could pick up on that, Mrs. Copeland. If groups persuade, just because a group is able to persuade, is the group always right then? Yes. If all y'all go against me with something, and y'all, I suggest that y'all is right. Anyone else? Does anyone else want to do anything with this definition? These 14 and 15 year olds from the school's bottom stream have been called a class of no hopers. No. On t-shirt, does this supply meaning? Does this definition give meaning to what we're doing? Does this change things for you now? No. Okay. Does this give additional meaning to anyone in the class? Does the definition give additional meaning to anyone? No. So, is everything resolved then? Completely. What about the boring part? If, if, if meaning has been restored, so to speak, to what we do, has, is it, is it still boring though? Is this still boring? Yeah. In doing, I mean, if it brings back meaning. Is it still boring? Yeah, is it still boring? Is doing this still boring then? It depends on what we're talking about. Which, which elements in the definition are boring? These students are hostile to the very idea of education, and not one is expected to go on to high school. This paper we did last week, yeah. double disjunctive. Right. I felt it was boring. It had, it had no meaning to me. You know, so it was boring to me. It had no meaning. And the class just, you know, wanted to jump on me because I said it had no meaning. It was boring. But that was my opinion, right? Is it more than because you don't understand it or just because you don't like it? Because I don't like it. At first I didn't understand it, but then you showed me how to do it. I understand it now, but it's still boring to me. It has no meaning to me. Anybody disagree with me? rescue deprived children, you need something more than discipline. I try to make all of our children know, and our teachers do this too, to let them know that they're loved. I think that's paramount and basic before you can do anything else. Children have to know that you love them, that you care about them. Now there are times that uh, in disciplining children I must take a hard line. I must come down very tough on them. But then I try to do it in a spirit of love. Bend the tree, but don't break it. So that they know that I, even though I, I'm on their case, I love them.